We are officially one week away from Christmas, but on Monday, something special will happen. Something many feel will signify some new hope. The dream of a nine-year-old was to go out and be able to find out what that moon was like, what those planets were like, and uh, may maybe someday to be there. I remember the first time my grandmother took me out. We were out in the country, and I looked outside, and I'd never seen so many stars. And I said, this. This is something that I'd like to know more about. And I'll never forget that, but that was the beginning for me. A mystic is what you need to be. And a mystic sees connections everywhere. And what they would say, this is a sign. It's an obvious sign. And to me, the sign is so strong that anybody who is a linear thinker would have to think about this in a way that says, wait, this is really interesting. And each night, those two objects are getting closer and closer and closer to each other. And on the 21st, they'll be so close you can only see one object. These guys are like 0.1 degree apart. Well, to most of us, that doesn't mean a lot. But if I was to give you the comparison that if you looked at the full moon, then these two planets would be in front of the moon. They could both fit inside the moon's diameter. And you could put five of them side by side. In other words, Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn, and Jupiter, Saturn. That's close. That is indeed quite close. 2020, as we all know, has been quite a, a unique year, and, and so there's no reason that we shouldn't close the year out with an event that has been in preparation for almost 400 years and probably won't happen again till most of us have passed. And there are records of that happening all the way back during the, the Christ time. And that was what they called the Christmas star that the three wise men followed. So perhaps we're seeing something like that again. In the ancient world, the thing that was the navigation tool, the GPS, were the stars. That's the way people traveled. You didn't move from one place to another without using the star. The astrologer and the astronomer. The astronomer is very interested, and, and I, myself as, an, as a scientist, I, it's very important that we understand why these things are happening, but the astrologers always try to give an interpretation of what does this mean? It's, it just seems to me that nothing is clearer than the star represents the coming of something new and better and can be best described as an enlightenment. We are being enlightened by the experience of the coronavirus. We'll know more about how we feel about each other, our relationships with each other, how precious they are, how precious life is. We're learning all these things through a, a process that's extremely painful, but we don't change unless there's pain. This star is a symbol of love. The darkness, a symbol not of hate, of fear. And what a year of fear we've had. And I think the fact that we've been caught in that and know that it has something to do with being separated from each other, we're going to think twice about the way we choose to live that separates us, the way that we choose to treat each other that separates us. Separation is the greatest pain, I think, in this whole pandemic. And once something's taken away, human beings have a wonderful, wonderful way of saying that's what's valuable i didn't realize it i had it all the time but i didn't realize how much it meant to me that's the light we need that's the truth we need i would like all of us that take a time to view this event to get the family together sure we can do this we can do this in the time of the of, of this pandemic but we can go outside view together and say, wow, look at that beautiful object out there. That's actually the, these two planets coming together. Is there a message in that? Is there a message? Can, is this something that we are being told? I can't tell you if it is or not. All I can tell you is that I know it's a conjunction of two planets coming close together. But maybe there's more into it than that. That's up to you to decide.